say a few words, but before I ask him, you know, off the get up and stand, he can never shut me up, but <laughs> let me say this, that what we wanted to do was something very different. Um, and one area of the hotel that I'm particularly pleased with is on the beach, which you'll see the restaurant, which we call Beach Rouge. Um, it's quite different. And um, you know, we've got one of the Europe's top DJs on the uh, something like that. Anyway, I'm not clued up with DJs, but you can see he's down there. I'm told he's one of the best in the world, so anyway, we'll listen to him and we'll make a judgment. But uh, they, that's the idea. We want to uh, it's not just a restaurant but it's a place to uh, during the day, you can have a nice lunch, and uh, we've got some special features in the kitchen. <coughs> and then uh, Kelly explained what she wanted to do down there with the lounging park. But also, part of it is we've added our own uh, ice cream flat park, which we call EC. So you'll see that when you go down there if you want to taste any of the ice cream. So, without more ado, I'll ask Arno to say a few words. Sorry, I took so long. Thank you all. I'm enthusiastic. <laughs> Actually, it makes my life much easier because I can say, oh, no, uh, donc, je vais chiter en français, donc, euh, principalement pour nos amis journalistes de La Réunion. Donc, bienvenue. Euh, les Thomas Mauricia à Vence et les Fouillés. C'est un problème. Donc, écoutez, c'est encore une fois bienvenue. On va quand même Paul vous a donné un peu un. C'est le parcours de Kelly, nous allons de découvrir avec nous euh, l'hôtel et les parties communes, les chambres, euh, tout ce qui a été fait. Je dois vous dire que quand nous avons fait le rebranding il y a maintenant tout juste deux ans, c'était le 3 décembre 2011, merci, 2011 euh, nous avions voulu avoir un, un produit, donc un, un software, on rappelle, euh, qui soit à l'image euh, du hardware. Euh, ça a pris un peu de temps, mais euh, on voulait faire les choses correctement et euh, grâce à Kelly à son expérience, je pense qu'aujourd'hui nous avons traduit dans la réalité euh, la vraie expérience de Lux euh, à travers donc, le Lux Bernard, c'est les douze villas. Pour rendre très heureux de ça, on a depuis euh, le, le refurbishment euh, un retour extrêmement positif de l'évident, donc ce qui est, est une bonne chose. Et, euh, et Kelly me disait qu'elle qu est ici avec quelques, quelques amis, ces amis qui sont euh, habitués à du niveau standard, euh, sont extrêmement heureux de la qualité des prestations et du produit fini euh, qui a été euh, livré. Donc, uh, welcome again everybody. Um, I'm Charlene for Kelly. And uh, I presume after uh, she's explained uh, the journey of yeah, the uh, we'll go around and finish us at the uh, beach Rouge. Thank you. Hello. Um, it's actually quite a funny story because I came here three years ago on holiday to stay at the Borobad. Yeah. And I knew that Paul was here and, um, and I've known Paul for many years and admired what Paul has done with hotels around the world. And so I had a little bit of a plan as well as a holiday in mind. And I remember finding Paul on the beach and basically didn't let him leave the beach until dawn the next morning until he agreed to let me work with him to recreate something very special here. Because without a doubt, this hotel, even before, was extraordinary in that the place where it was, the beach, the ambiance, the people was just absolutely extraordinary. But for me, the experience of staying in a hotel is what is important. And of course, I need to design and aesthetics and beautiful things. And I almost begged for, you say you asked me, I begged you, could I please work with you on this hotel? Because I think it would be incredible to do something different. And you came to London and we sat at my studio and I started throwing things at Paul and I realized before long that if I throw enough beautiful things at Paul, he would, he would buff it and he'd say yes. And that's what we did. We came up with an incredible concept working with Pierre Schmidt, who's a brand entrepreneur, to try and come up with um, an idea of creating a brand, which for me, I can only describe as barefoot luxury. Because I travel all over the world in 
hotels in the city. And when you go into a city, you expect a city hotel. But what was happening around the world, the hotels all over the world, like Mauritius, anywhere on islands, they were just the same hotel rooms with the same shoe shines and the same things that you would never use on a beautiful island. And so we came up with this incredible concept, and every time we came up with one, we came up with another, and another, and another, and it just became like this incredible bubble of enthusiasm. And I think that what we've actually created is exactly that. And every single person that I know who stays here, and I'm here with some friends now, I haven't had to say to them, what do you think? How does it feel? They've come up to me, whether it's the bed they're sleeping on, to the cushion they're lying on, to the staff that, that look after them, to the drinks, to the food, to the taste, to the smells, the sounds, the lighting, every single thing, they commented on their own. So it goes back to the whole concept of the experience that you have when you're on holiday, is the memory that you take away with you, and it's what brings you back. And I've now been coming here for three years for wonderful holidays as well as work. And the wonderful thing that I've realized every time I've walked through the door and that is quite rare, I think. They know you by name, they greet you, they remember what you like, they come and say hello enough that you want to say hello to them, but leave you alone so that you can have your privacy. And I think that's pretty exceptional. It says a lot to the company that they work for. Um, and I guess, you know, when we walk around, I can show you what we try to create. But I think it's, it's all about light. It's about lightness about coming from the city, coming from your work, from the pressures, from kids screaming, making money, losing money, whatever it is that's happening in your world, you need to a really rough patch. And I think you come here, and we were laughing last night, it's like almost someone has put up a screen. It's not a real image. You cannot believe that you're looking at this blue sea and the white sand. And the wonderful music, the DJ, by the way, is incredible. We danced the night away two nights ago. We had far too many cocktails, which are also amazing. Um, but I'm more than happy to answer any questions. But um, I think maybe if we walk around, we can have a look at You can see each room is different, different colors, different concepts. But everything still has the same essence, which is island light. Just bear some luck through. Thank you very much. you've been on it for 10 hours, you just want to take your socks, your shoes, your boots off, and what you don't want is to feel that you've got to dress up. You want to relax, and I think this hotel gives you that ability to really be relaxed. And what I've noticed about the friends I've come here with, who are people who are very well known, who have traveled all over the world, the way they have dressed every night for dinner is a real testament to what you've created here, because they're so chill, and yet they look happy and at ease. So yeah, absolutely. The meaning of the, for most of them, you have a dress code. I believe you got what you don't have to wear a jacket. Well, you know you don't have to wear a jacket here. You certainly don't have to wear a tie. But if a man wants to come in shorts and a pair of moccasins and a shirt and a girl wants sandals, and you know, that, that's giving you the ability. Some people get dressed up. It's up to them. But I guarantee when I look around, most people have decided they want to take it down a notch because that's what we do every day in the city. Yeah. Well, because because you're the
speak to Norma, who will get some big sheets of red bill, but a tenor sheet, who's cut the circle, and he's getting emails from the urgency, saying, I'm too busy, I've been cutting circles. So we'll cut the circles now. And it's, it looks amazing. You see the day from Chris and Wyatt, and you look out that blue, the blue that was in the blue sea, it's like the CGI, it says, you know, clouds, then in the evening, it becomes really comfortable, and you see when you come from board, and it's very clubby, and amazing, cold concept. I, I, I'd like to say, Kevin yeah, just said it, reminded me, a big thank you to all the team. Uh, Ashish is here and um, uh, you know, done a great job. Unfortunately, Pascal, uh, who's the regional manager, he's not here. He's in bed because he had his back in. <laughs> because he was moving a lot of the tables. So he, he bust his back and unfortunately is not here. But that just, uh, it's just indicative of how everybody has worked so hard to pull all this uh, off in a very, very short size of time. And, you know, it would have been difficult if the hotel was closed to finish on time. But with the hotel opening, you can imagine it was already open didn't close anything, so it was, it was not easy. But how long did it take? It's taken two years, but we've had to do it in sections since the hotel was open. Mm. Um, but I just want to say one thing. When I was here last Christmas, it was the last day, and I was very unfortunate for the, the 10 days I was here, there was a cyclone, and it was pouring with rain and everything. But nevertheless, I still had a great time. And the last day, the sun came out. I suddenly heard someone saying, fire, fire. <laughs> and the main restaurant here with the fat fruit had caught on fire. And I will tell you, I left this island thinking, quite an incredible thought. I saw every single one of the people who worked in this hotel climbing and risking their lives, climbing to the top of the roof. I've got pictures on my iPad, putting the fire up. And my boyfriend said to me, that's quite an incredible sight. By then, he met everybody. To see everybody, you know what I mean? Getting up there and putting a fire out, it was quite incredible, actually. And within an hour, they put boards up and the hotel was back to normal. Had no roof, but it was back to normal. <laughs> um, but yeah, so a very special team. Great team to work with. So maybe we should just go yeah.